Hello everyone! Good morning! I know I am looking a little rough, but you know, that's... That's just life, isn't it? When you have really sensitive skin. If you watched my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream review, I'll link it down below like always. Basically, I was trying out some new skincare products for you all. My skin didn't like them, so... <laughs> Thankfully, this is all on the mend, so it's, yeah, we're getting there. Regardless, kind of a good thing, because today I am testing out a very, very hyped up to the moon and back, and to the moon again and back, and then all the way to Pluto to go and tell it, hey, we still like you, I still consider you a planet, and then back home. Hype everywhere. If you can read the writing, slash if you read the title, you would be able to say, Yes! This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I just went out and got a sample from Sephora because why buy the bottle and then try it and then hate it? I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll love it, but then like return it just to do a video. Like, I think that's cruel, especially when they give out free samples like this. So yes, YouTube made me buy this, you know, in the nice, kind sense. Let's go on to Too Faced's website. Too Faced's. That's, that's a little weird to say, but uh, let's go onto their website and read about the foundation real quick. The Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is $39. If you are on Sephora's website or in-store, there are only 12 shades available, but on Too Faced's website, they have got 18 shades available, and this might have to do with this little asterisk that says six new shades coming fall 2015. They're still to come. They've got them shown what the new six colors are going to be, but they're not quite available yet. But let's read about the foundation. Born This Way is an oil-free foundation that masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. For coverage so undetectable, you can't see the makeup and you can't see imperfections. All that's left is naturally radiant skin that looks like you were born this way. <laughs> All right, well, th I mean, that's really exciting. I have no idea how a medium to full coverage foundation could look like skin, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot. I think it is just time to sing the song together if y'all are ready. You ready? Let's do it. YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. Yo, yo, you get it, yo. Oh. I didn't like that last edition, I'm so sorry. My face, my face. This is what we're dealing with. Got a lot of scarring, I've got some crustiness left on my nose and right here. I've got a couple sad, kind of still active buggers on my forehead. And yeah, another crusty bit, so. Just like the good old days, right guys? Yep, yep, yep. On Sephora's website, it says that you can use your fingers, a brush, or a sponge to put on this foundation, but I know if I only do one method, someone's gonna yell at me in the comments. So, like I've done in the past couple foundation reviews, I think, I will do half of my face with a brush, and I will do the other half with a damp blending sponge. It's damp. Promise. I have already washed and moisturized my face. I'm gonna go ahead and just put on my face primer real quick. As always with these videos, if I don't mention a product, you see me using it, you see it on my face, whatever, I have it listed down in the description bar below for you at your convenience. So, just so you know. Now we are primed and tacky and ready for this foundation. This is always a little nerve-wracking for me. I like to do foundation reviews with my glasses on so that fellow glasses wearers, we can see how the foundation wears underneath the little pads because that actually, it's important. If you don't wear glasses, you wouldn't know, but here's the foundation. I got mine in the shade Porcelain. The shade selection, you guys, I don't know. When I was at Sephora, I could not figure out which color I would be. I had it like eight of them swatched on my hand and they all looked like exactly the same at Sephora. So yeah, <laughs> I went with porcelain, which this to me is not a porcelain color. This is not light enough to be porcelain, but uh, you know, it is what it is. This is what the girl told me I would be. So I blame you girl at Sephora if this is the wrong color. I suppose I should, hold on. I'm doing too many things at once and I didn't even realize it. Okay, so I'm gonna, Blend that in. How's it look, guys? I can't really tell. I'm a little too blind. I can just see that it's going on. 
It feels really nice. It feels really lightweight. Ooh! It looks really nice, too. Alright, so there you go. Half of my face has the foundation on and half of it doesn't. I feel like it's a little bit of an unfair comparison because a lot of my sad bits are on this side of my face, but there you go. It's really, it's really nice you guys, at least the feeling so far. I haven't looked too close up at it, but from what I can see, it really does look pretty dang natural and the feeling is really nice. I mean, it's just, I don't want to say it's a typical foundation feel, but it's soft, it doesn't feel like silky or anything like that. It just feels soft and lightweight and very natural. Like if I had been drugged and someone decided to put foundation on half my face and I was now like coming to and all of my senses are back, I wouldn't know that there was only foundation on this half of my face. Does that make sense? Okay. A little too real of a situation. <laughs> oh. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and Smear this on the other half of my face with my Real Techniques damp sponge. So I'll be right back. Slash, I'll be here. I'll just be muted. I really don't think it made much of a difference at all between the sponge side and the brush side, but there you go, just for comparison purposes, for questioning purposes. I think it looks really nice, you guys. Like really, ah, I'm, it looks really nice. Gotta put these on to make sure you're in focus. To say that this doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, I think that's taking it a little too far, but I think it looks like a natural foundation, you know? It really covered up a lot of my scarring. I mean, look at that, you can hardly see that, and that was a honker of a scar. And it seemed to go over my crusty bits quite well and take away the redness from them. I think so far it's got a bit of a dewy finish to it, and like I said, it's just very natural looking. I know some people say they would like to see me do, you know, like two coats, is it buildable? I just, I'm not a buildable foundation kind of a person, I don't know, I just, I typically don't do two layers, so, and by typically I mean I, I don't, but to humor you, I will put on another layer on my forehead, how about? So, there you go. More foundation, yay! So there you go, a double coat. I think that built, so yeah. Definitely. I think that took away even more of the sadness. So, look at that. Ooh, nice. I also like to see how foundation plays with other products, so I've just got my Benefit Fake up here, and I'm gonna smear this underneath my eyes. All went well there. And then the other thing I like to test out when I'm testing out a foundation is to see whether or not it needs a setting powder. So I am just going to put setting powder on half of my face. This is just a translucent powder from Tarte. So this half has the powder on it. I do think that it mattified. I mean, that is what this particular powder is supposed to do. Throughout the day though, I mean, my oils come through and it just ends up looking very natural. So we'll see how greasy this side gets. And yeah, I guess we'll just see overall. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup off screen. I'm not gonna do anything too intense today because I've kind of got to go pretty quick here, but I'm gonna get dressed, do my hair, put on the rest of my makeup, and I will check in with you all slash be right back here on YouTube land in just a second so ready ding all right i look way more naked than i actually am i promise my shirt it's it's right here i promise <laughs> no cleavage today but yeah so here's the foundation sorry i'm a little out of breath i gotta get going here but here is the foundation with the rest of my makeup on i've just got on my contour a blush mascara and my brows and lipstick obviously so yeah I think you can already tell the difference between this side with the powder and this side without. I'm definitely already a bit dewy on this side of like my forehead and whatnot, but 
you know, that's okay. That's what these review videos are for. I suppose I can take my glasses off real quick, but here it is a bit closer up. So I've got to get going, like I said, I've just got a couple of doctor's appointments today and I'm going to have lunch with my mom and yeah, just general, got to get some work done and yeah, that's about it, but I will be taking you all along with me as always. It is currently 9.56 in the morning. I guess I will just check in probably whenever I feel like I need to blot next to show you how the foundation is holding up. So I'll see you then. Bye! you saw it. Alright you guys, different angle. I look like a hot mess, but that is why I'm here and that's why I'm checking in. It's not good you guys. It's so hot outside. It's so hot. I'm melting. Wah. As you could see, definitely starting to look cakey around my mouth lines, my chin, between the brows, not doing so hot. <laughs> Unlike the sun, you're so hot, so hot. <sighs> it was a bad joke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my blotting papers. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna use two. If I'm feeling super crazy, I'm gonna use three and get all of the oil and heat and sadness. You too, huh? Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna blot. Ah, much better. I'm gonna get on with my day. I've just got some work to get done and some YouTube stuff to get done. And I think I'm gonna do some laundry and you know just really fun times. So I'm so glad you all will get to be there with me. We're just one big happy family here. The heat's getting to me, you guys, so I'm gonna go and drink about 200 gallons of water and try and cool down in front of a fan or something. Maybe two fans. <laughs> so I guess I'll just see you guys later, so I will see you then. Bye! <laughs> Good evening. Ugh, 
I am ready to be done with today. It is currently just about 10.20 p.m. A little side story, but I was just watching Project Runway and it was the team episode from this season. You know, all the girls were ganging up on Ashley and for whatever reason, I like super internalized it. And so now I'm like in this really bummed out mood. There's really no reason why. I mean, I think we've all been in a situation kind of similar to that where everyone just gangs up on you even though you didn't do anything. Ugh. Not that you're ever gonna watch this video of mine, Ashley, but like, girl, I really was feeling for you. So if I like seem a little down right now, that's all. Nothing happened. I just, for whatever reason, took Project Runway way too personally. <laughs> but foundation. I think it's safe to say, you guys, this foundation is not for me. I don't know if it was like primarily because it was so hot out today or if it's because I have oily skin. I don't know. Maybe it would be good for people with not oily skin, but something's telling me if you have oily skin, this is gonna sh right off your face. However, I do think that if you have like a very special occasion, and you'll only be wearing makeup for like a couple of hours and you will be in like air conditioning or some kind of a nice tolerable climate, I would say, you know, this foundation might be nice. It gave really good coverage in the beginning, but as you can see now, I'm just a big oil slick and you can see all of my scars and pimples, so whoop. It might not work for me, but it might work great for you. You never know, but at least now you have been able to see how it did on me, so if you have skin that seems similar to mine, you know how it probably will perform on you. I can't think of anything else to say, so are you ready for an abrupt ending? Here we go, you've been warned. As always, I hope the review was helpful for you, I hope you all are doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!